Well, coming into the LSU game, it was really week two of the SEC grind, week two of nine. Uh, the most important thing coming off a, a hard fought loss on the road was to get home, protect your home floor, regroup a bit. It was Marshall's first game back with the team from the two game suspension to start league play. And we needed to reestablish who we were. You know, when you, you start league play without your leading score, we were fortunate to, to split the games, uh, but we were disappointed because we felt like we, we had an opportunity to break through on the road and start for and didn't get it done down the stretch. So with Marshall rejoining our group, we wanted to get our swag back, play with confidence, be aggressive on both ends of the floor against an LSU team that many predicted to break through this year and get back to the NCAA tournament. I felt like from a talent standpoint, there's as talented a front line as we'll face all season in our league. And it was important to reestablish who we were at home. playing in the SEC. Henderson off a of curl. Stringer. Oh my goodness. Andy Kennedy taking a timeout. And LSU, Johnny Jones has been looking for shooting like this all season long. Henderson threw it away. Hickey with a steal. Oh, and the assist, Javon Coleman. It's a 10-0 run for the Tigers. Some guys going up in the air on these ball fakes. And that time, a nice dump down to DeMarco Cox. Well, Darius White set that up with the penetration, and uh, Johnny O'Brien had to come over to stop the ball. Opened up Cox in the low post. Three points at the free throw line, and the 10 point lead is now down to four. Here's Summers. <laughs> Sebastian Saeed with the big follow. O'Brien had it blocked. Oh, my goodness. Saez absolutely cupped that ball. At least from an offensive standpoint. Oh, my gosh. Nice pick and roll that time. Defense jumps out to Henderson. He drops it right down to Saez. This Saez is like... Playing all world. Shot clock is off. Take it all the way down for the last one. Why wait? And now he's got a dozen. A new career first half, uh, a career high for Sebastian Saez, all in the first half. And what a play by Stringer to end the half. Half time, we start. We talk to each other and like make sure that we were going to do our job. Basically, we were just talking about uh, just staying together and like no matter what happened, we gotta be through. Uh, we gotta be as a team and we gotta fight through this. 
Tigers go back on top by one. Wow, how about that follow by Aaron Jones? Missed one like that earlier. No doubt on that follow. And Jarvis Summers knocks a triple down. Nice pass from Henderson. Mickey had to kick it out. Oh, are you kidding me? Siobhan Coleman. But still, LSU leads by three. Until that. Mistake, you don't foul a jump shooter. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this guy. Coleman knocks down the triple. But because of his contact with Saez, he's much bigger. So he's had his hand straight in the air, felt the contact, still got it to go. And Snoop White knocks down a three. Now Johnny Jones is going to set a play. Got to wonder if they'll try to ISO O'Brien. Hickey had it blocked. Boy, that time he tried to dump it right back down into Jones. And he already had his mind made up that he was going to do that. Shot clock at seven. DeMarco Cox got caught out front. About a three-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock, but it doesn't matter. As Jarvis Summers ties it up. And Johnny Jones, I don't think, is going to call a timeout. Go with the two-man game up high. Just read it. Hickey's got the basketball. Stringer has had the hot hand. One-on-one. Oh, One-four one, flat. Over Henderson. And we will go to overtime. Well, they run the one, uh, the high pick earlier, but that time decided to go one-four flat. Thought they had the mismatch with Hickey being guarded by Marshall Henderson. And a pretty good look, that little pull-up jumper just didn't get it to go. We then start the overtime period. Jarvis makes a big th jump shot off the dribble. He's been our go-to really with the basketball down the stretch really throughout the course of the season. We then have a free throw opportunity. Uh, make one, miss the second. Great hustle, those are winning plays for me. You know, Aaron Jones kept a ball alive, tips it out. Marshall steps in, hits a huge three, which pushed it to a seven-point game. Uh, a lot of people think it's it's kind of a tough shot. And for us, with Marshall, uh, you know, you live on the edge. You know, when do you pull him off shooting those? When do you allow him the freedom to do that? You know, we've, we've empowered him that when he gets his shoulders square and he can step into shots, regardless of circumstances, we want him to take those and he knocked down a big one for us and a, and a huge one. We just, just told ourselves we was just going to win this game. Like, they had their chance, so it's not it's our time. So we just took off. made some plays, won the battle of the glass, made some free throws, and just stepped up, made some plays, man, made some plays. Let's grow from this. Let's grow from this. This is just game three. We've got 15 more, 15 more, right? Right? Hey, enjoy it. Enjoy every win because they're so hard to get. Let's get back here tomorrow and get our focus on the next challenge, all right? Great, great job. Good finish. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
We found ourselves in a five-point deficit with about two minutes to play, but this team has lived in that world. I think through our first 17 games now, we've established really who we are, and there's a lot of things that we're trying to pull on and improve. Uh, we're still trying to piece together some new guys in their expanded roles, and I think they're becoming more comfortable with more experience. But we're going to be in close games. We've been in close games starting in game two through game 17. And with that experience, I think it allowed us to play with some poise, made some big shots, came up finally with a defensive stop down the stretch to force overtime, which is, again, where we've lived. I think we've had three overtime games. Two have gone against us. It was, uh, it was good to see us finally win one of those.